For this demo, I'm going to show you how to use your brush to do some uh, dry brush, actually is what it's called. And it's, it's really a fun thing to do if you've got, say, a side of a barn or some, a piece of maybe a door that has some, um, you know, some streaks in it and you don't want to have to paint every little streak or every little, um, you know, variation of the color. It also um, is a good way to do sparkle on water. Okay, so we'll do the sparkle on the water first. I'll do it at the top. Your brush needs to be damp, but it also needs to be um, some of the water squeezed out. And then sometimes I like to uh, spread it out just a little bit. But we're going we're gonna to load this brush with some ocean color, let's say, just some dark blue first. Now that's a pretty juicy wash. So if I just put it on just like that, it's probably just going to give me just a solid, flat um, uh, wash there. So what I'm going to have to do is try to get some more of that water out. And I'm also going to just lay my brush flat. And actually, I'll try it with a different size brush here in a minute, too. So I'm going to try to separate this just a little bit and try to get some of that water out. And then, if you think about the horizon on, an ocean, on the ocean and how sometimes you'll see the light on the water and it almost looks pure white, if you can just sort of drag that brush along You can see how that would help you. Now, if I, if I press the brush, then I'm going to get more of a solid color. So I've got to make sure I keep it flat or even at on an edge. And it takes a little practice. You won't be able to do it probably perfectly the first time, but it's kind of fun to try. So that would, that would be a good way to add sparkle to some of your ocean. Now, if you had a, a fence, say, that you, uh, or an old side of a barn that you wanted to uh, just show some of the texture in the wood, um, same thing. Load your brush. Not a whole lot of water. The brush is damp, but it's not really wet. And then, just start at the top. And you can add as much depending on how much pressure you put. You can add that texture for that line work in various degrees. Sometimes if you use a slightly different brush, maybe one that's a little bigger, that will separate a little easier. Let's see if we can do that. Yeah, that one's going to separate nicely for us. And you can just almost just drop the brush, just pat it on top of the paint. You can even add two colors, maybe uh, do a dual thing here. So you can see how that would add some texture to wood without you actually having to draw it in or paint it in. Just give it, gives it a little more value, just gives it a little extra uh, depth or contrast. And that's how you dry brush on a barn wall, and that's how you sparkle, make sparkle in your water.